Gum green dot. Gum. Gum green dot. Gum. I've been asking all night long for an RV or a bus or something, and I'm going to do it again and uh, tell people about the show. And uh, we're about to do it again with mic number two here. And mic number one. So, Vancouver, uh, British Columbia! People of the realm, good night. checking this thing out on the internet. Well, I've been checking a lot of stuff out on the internet, and I've been getting a lot of this rare recordings off the internet lately to match the ones I've made of my own in the past. And, um, anyway, uh, lately I've been seeing Tom Green on the internet, and, uh, Tom Green's been seeing me on the internet. I've been calling into his show and appearing on his TV show. And I saw myself on TV. Uh, and you can check me out on the internet on TomGreen.com. I've been on several episodes now. And there's a chance he might come up to Vancouver Island on his road trip that they're planning right now. They're looking for a, uh, the use of an RV-type camper vehicle bus sort of vehicle and I'm wondering if any of my listeners might have one that could be borrowed not really rented because there's no money it's not like this is a real network show it's a talk show on the internet made out of Tom's living room and it doesn't really make any money that's for sure. It actually costs a whole lot of money to do nothing but make people laugh. And they want to borrow an RV and drive it around for a while and come up here and make some funny internet comedy for the TV. Converging internet and television. And radio, I suppose, in this case. Um, yeah, if you've got an RV or a bus or something that could be borrowed for a while and driven around for a few hundred miles and brought back with a full tank of gas and a nice coat of wax and polished up and shiny and washed, fresh and clean, working still, uh... Let me know at rdoarchivist at hotmail.com and go check out tomgreen.com. There's no www, just tomgreen.com, the channel. Check out his show. Check me out on his show. Check me out in the WTV blogs. And you'll see this right now. What you're hearing right now will be up there tomorrow. There. So enjoy it while you got it. Because you never know when it's going to go away. Meanwhile. So I don't know if you can hear that. Well, I guess you can hear this. I suppose you hear this little thing. This one's a piece of recording. It was a wonderful Frank Zappa going across the border.
this little special room that we have. We have After all, Canada is America's northern neighbor. I'm sure that you have the same thing happen to you when you're trying to go across the border to Mexico or to San Diego. So you Americans will just have to learn that whenever you cross the border into somebody else's country, you have to be humble. And part of the process of making you humble is taking your pants off and showing your bum hole and the inspectors here. So you just you just Welcome to Canada. 160 degree me. I mean, he's doing it all on his own. Like it's not like a, like he's, you know, it's really all out of his own pocket to put up this thing and put up this like TV on the internet doing a talk show out of his living room. Tom Green is doing. Uh, asking them all night long. And I know I know someone on the island here who's got a big bus that they go to festivals, hippie festivals with. And uh, I know someone else on the island here who's got one, and I know someone else on the island here. Who, I mean, there's a whole bunch of people on the island here, but planning a trip, a road trip, uh, it, it, they're looking for an RV. If you have one, let me know. And uh, we'll borrow it and make some TV fun for everyone. <laughs> 